Yo, what up? We're the Word we're Alive. Alive. Yeah. We're hanging out with Rob and Punk Videos Rock. Woo. So you guys are coming in with a brand new record. What is that like, especially for a tour this big? I mean, it's been it's been really good so far. The response we've gotten has just been steadily progressive, you know. Uh, it's been fun. Like, all of us love playing yeah, new shit, fun. you know what I mean? It's Definitely. just showing, like, this is my first album with the band, so showing everybody what I can do behind the kit with uh, with these guys has been, been great, you know, so... What was it like recording with, with uh, Luke over here? It was great, honestly. Um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, it was, it was uh, more, ex I could be more creative and experimental because um, I didn't have to worry about, oh, well, I can't do this because the drums, you know what I mean? It, it, it was awesome because it's like uh, having members you can rely on, even uh, with Daniel on bass and everything like that. Everyone on this album got to throw in, you know what I mean, their own uh, spice and like uh, pizzazz, so. Giant collaborative yeah. effort for sure. Definitely better than writing with a superior drummer, just yeah, a. Way better than superior drummer, I'll tell you that. Luke Collins my favorite drummer, yeah, not he's superior he's drummer. <laughs> he's actually better than superior drummer. He is better than superior drummer, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm blushing, I'm blushing. <laughs> nice. Now this is the third record, right? Yeah. So uh, various bands have told me in the past that the third record is always the hardest record to write because you've already pretty much like put your name out, you've already showed your fans who you are, but this record, it's like, shit, what am I gonna do? Yeah. So what was it like coming into this record? Well, you know what's interesting is uh, our manager, Sean Keith, says that he's, he thinks real is our second record. That's how he says it. Technically, it's not, you know what I mean? So which record are we missing here? It's Deceiver. just, you know, Deceiver. Which is a, a, one of the bigger records. It, but it is, I think, the biggest so far, so you know, far, I mean, in, yeah. in technical terms, but I don't know. Like it, for us, I think it was just it was really easy to write this yeah. record. It all it came fun. together really fast, yeah. really easily. There's no really crazy struggle or you know like oh like I want to do this, well I want to do that. No, it was just all like like I said, it's just a nice collaborative. We got to try new things, you know, because like especially him being in the band and we actually got to sit in a room prior to like let's take it back for life cycles our drummer left us before we even had to go to the studio so i mean we got to at least expand with a full band setting you know it's hard to write on the road mostly it's like everybody takes a turn on their laptops writing a song here and there but i mean that's how it goes sometimes but we actually got to write a lot of songs together most of them at the end are a collaborative effort obviously once telly puts his vocals on it you know but it was the first album we all got to write as this band, so it's yeah. definitely not as hard for other compared to other bands because the lineup changes and all that kind of stuff for sure. Listening to the record, it, it's not as as heavy as it as your previous records. I mean, is that because of the type of influences you were going into this record, or is this a new direction for the Word Alive that we're expecting? I don't know if it's a new direction for the Word Alive because the Word Alive will always kind of do whatever the Word Alive wants to do. You know what I mean? Um, we don't really, I don't think we're going to put ourselves like uh, against a wall on any genre, you know what I mean? Um, we're, we like to do new things and we like to uh, try to, I don't know, we didn't really, Life Cycles was pretty heavy I guess you could say and so is Deceiver but I mean there's parts that uh, Unreal that are for sure I think heavy, uh, heavier yeah, or yeah. You dig into yeah. it, yeah. find really things. It's diverse enough for sure. I think, I think people focus a lot on like the song Lighthouse and The Runaway, which are really not heavy songs, you know, but if you listen to the rest of the album, a lot of it is, is pretty heavy and a lot of technical stuff too, you know, yeah. which ties into that, so. Yeah, those are only two songs, you yeah. know. With Lighthouse, you know, not being one of the heavy ones, uh, why did you guys choose to release that one as, as an early, you know, track? Kind of because it was uh, something we haven't done yet, you know what I mean? We haven't uh, we haven't really done that, and we wanted to, you know what I mean? G genuinely, because we're all like five musicians who want to try new things, uh, and you know, the Word Live has never released a song that could be considered a little more like uh, uh, chilled out, you know what I mean? So uh, and friendly, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a it's a good song, and you know, we all uh, I don't know, we just wanted to try something different, and uh, you know, we're just gonna we're gonna give it a roll and. You know, I guess, yeah. yeah. It's kind of our way, too, of just, like, knocking walls down in our own house to create a bigger house. Exactly, yeah. Also, we felt like, you know, for Warp Tour, like, you know, we thought it'd, it'd be a really good just summer. anthem, sing-along song, summer you know song, what I mean? Definitely. Summer song, definitely, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I could definitely I can definitely hear that song even potentially on the radio. Yeah. Which, I mean, I think would be great for The Word Alive, and 
you know, we, are you guys yeah. opposed to that? Or? We've already, already actually gotten some interest for like radio for Lighthouse. So uh, I think around like um, our home, Arizona, and hopefully, you know, like California soon and, uh, you know, spread spreading out, it'll be on the radio. So that's something we can hope for. But, you know, we're, we're not banking on, we don't, we're not like banking on being like a radio band. You know what I mean? Uh, we're just trying to, you know, release some songs that we like and you know if it's if they're softer they're softer if they make it to the radio they make it to the radio you know what i mean which is which is cool so and this record you guys worked it with with uh feldman we did, uh, and he's been yeah. he's been tweeting about it lately because it's been doing amazing yeah um so why did you choose to work with feldman and what do you like best about feldman well we did those two softer songs the light lighthouse and the runaway were with feldman um we just felt like i don't know help me out here we didn't have very much before we went to Thelman, we had a lot of singing songs, but there wasn't any dominant singing songs. Yeah, like like that, big songs that we knew would just be awesome. really stand out Thelman for just everyone. Good songs, and yeah. he helps. And uh, it, we went in there, and we didn't even know what to expect, and we uh, just cranked out two songs in two days. And you know, we uh, it, it was it was awesome. Hopefully, we end up actually going back. We're we you know are maybe thinking about doing something like that. So I think he was probably also one of the first hands-on producers we've ever had all the other producers are more engineerial and just say like yeah take that maybe uh maybe try something here and there but he's very he's bigger than that he's bigger than life he's he's just a very eccentric he's he's not that he's not an old person but he's young at heart you know what it i mean it's definitely a pleasure working with yeah, him for he's sure definitely inspiring it's it definitely for sure experience too definitely yeah, yeah. 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 Does, it, does it blow your minds knowing that you know while you guys were probably working on the record with him, he was working on another album with someone else that was bigger in a different industry. Oh, yeah. you know? Gang vocals for uh, Five Seconds of Summer <laughs> on their album. We're on their album uh, doing guest vocal like chants and stuff, yeah. which is something John Feldman actually likes to do a lot in his songs. And so like, if you listen to Five Seconds of Summer, you might hear our voices. Yeah. Now, what do you guys think about Five Seconds of Summer? Personally, I think they're opening doors for the pop punk, the 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 scene that nobody wants to pay attention. Yeah, it's cool, man. You know what I mean. Uh, I players got to play. You know what I mean. Yeah, everyone's got their own thing. So you know, if they're if they're like you know true in their hearts and like doing what doing what they're doing, like because they love music, then like it's badass. So yeah, for sure. I actually haven't listened to them yet, but I that definitely one song will. We did record with them. We heard like maybe thirty seconds of it. Yeah. So I mean, from over what we over. got of it. You know, I mean, we don't really know very much about them as well, but they're but young. Props, props, but props yeah. They're young, but they're blowing up right now. Blowing so up, it's man. A yeah, thing. can't knock that. The exact sure. same thing we are, but they love it just as much, you know. So, so at the end of the day, with this record, what do you guys, what do you guys hope to get out of the record? What do you guys want your fans to get out of the record? Uh, well, we named it real, and you know, I think there's a lot of people that uh, are afraid to be themselves. You know what I mean? And like, hopefully, if you listen to the record, then you uh, will kind of grow into yourself a little bit more, and uh, you know, be real. You know what I mean? With everyone and around you and yourself, which I think is pretty important. So uh, maybe that, you know, just uh, the love for musicianship, stuff like that. So because uh, we're definitely are all trying to put in, you know, with Luke and and uh, even on guitars, Tony and I and Daniel on bass and Telly with vocals, we're all trying to put in our own style you know what i mean that we can uh kind of call our own uh on musicianship and uh technicality wise trying to push, the, wheel. Trying yeah, to push the giant wheel of music progression you know yeah, definitely so. we're just we're just trying to help out you know what i mean music in general and the whole scene so yeah, yeah definitely. and i have known telly since like he was like helping out other bands back in the day yeah, yeah. Um, but as you guys being in the band with him and working on various records with him how have you seen him progress as as you know a performer and you know as yeah. as a writer as a singer I'm, I'll tell you what there was one point and I'm not, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it there's one point that we were not happy with telly with how he was doing and everything and uh you know but he honestly I can say 100% and truthfully he's like 1000% turned that around and he uh, I think has really found himself uh, vocally and he's found his voice and he's found his style and uh, you know he goes up there and he scream and sings which is hard for you know a lot of people either just do one or the other so for you you really got to give him props because he's really come a long way so it's uh it's good I think this is like Telly will uh, definitely grow a lot more and uh, his name and voice well along with the word alive so definitely yeah. Yeah. I think this album has allowed all of us to grow and in each one of us gives like an individual name you know, like pushing our individual names as well. Like he was talking about musicianship, you know, like we all 
you know, we, we bust our asses at, at what we do, and we hope to get, you know, just a little feedback, some positive feedback, hopefully, some negative feedback. We've gotten yeah. some of it. You know, we don't we don't really care. We just like to hear feedback. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I can just expect uh, from this new album just for people to want more, you know? Like, this is just the beginning. It can be. And if people choose to accept that, I guess, then we'll progress and keep doing different things and surprising people and trying to keep it real you know you guys released this record right before warp tour so can we expect a proper tour for for the album anything we in the works definitely can expect something in the works we're not allowed to announce it yet but we did just announce a tour in the uk that i believe starts october uh with uh color morale and like Monster of flames so uh yeah. but uh we do have something planned after that we just have not announced it yet but it should be a lot of fun katie perry britney spears ellie golding the word alive yeah we're headlining yeah, yeah. Godsmack's opening up. Yeah. It's going to be a good time.